Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up in this week's show. A timely rebound for champion trainer Jason Lacosta's 2023 champion two-year-old in the Jamaica St. Leisure. That gives leading jockey Tevin Foster his first classic success. A weekend to remember in the USA for Barbadian superstar trainer Safi Joseph Jr. A whopping 12 wins, including three added money triumphs while achieving a milestone 100 stakes wins in North America. A stakes triumph as well for Jamaican trainer Ron Crichton in Florida. And in the UK, the English Derby champion shows his class in the Coral Eclipse Stakes. Plus the usual check-in on other Caribbean wins in North America. Our opening story from Jamaica's Caymanus Spark. Sunday St. Leisure, the second leg of the Triple Crown Series and competitive betting. The Guinness winners on the Triple Crown path, well supported. The impressive Phyllis Guinness winner, the five horse, Run Julie Run, has champion jockey Rian Lewis aboard. And the 2000 Guinness champion, number seven, California Crown, undefeated in his career so far with Robert Halladine aboard. There's also last year's champion, two-year-old, number six, interest in times ahead with Tevin Foster, the beaten favorite in last month's 2000 Guinness. Run Julie Run in the five box, the two to one favorite over champion trainer Jason Acosta's interest in times ahead at five to two. Trainer Anthony Nunes already with a massive 23 classic wins on his log, saddling five starters here. The best of those supported in the betting, number four, Captain Sparrow, second in the Kingston Guinness Prep, the third favorite here at 7-2. to two. It's 4-1 to one for 2000 Guinness winner California Crown, the same odds for stablemate from champion De Costa's barn, the 10-horse Provident. Here is ace commentator Bran Rickman's call with a field. Heading for the back stretch. McEnroe just to lead a supremacy, pressing a half a length down. California Crown reserve back in third as they make the way now toward the final six furlongs. Interesting times ahead is just another three lengths in behind that punch. Allegiance race is next, a close up fifth as they go past the six. Or run, Julie, run, not let you set. King Pie is four lengths in behind her. Provident just a half a length down and running the rail. Crown chaser toward the back. And last of all, it is a Captain Sparrow and Brenda Boy as they head toward the half mile. They've left the five behind them in the St. Ledger. Continuing, California Crown has now shot through and gets that lead, attempting to steal away from them. Supremacy going in chase, four lengths down. Interesting times ahead now bursts through, and it is interesting times ahead who has now taken second place. But up front, it is a California Crown. The Philly run, Julie run, now grabs a hold of them. And run, Julie run, now takes the lead on the approach to the 516th. Interesting times ahead right alongside her. And these two will come into the lane in the Jamaica. Cassant Ledger, the brave run, Julie Run. Interesting times ahead now looks to point. Run, Julie Run, not done yet. Beginning to run on from behind. That is Crown Chaser, but they run toward the furlong pole. Interesting times ahead, shaking loose from Run, Julie Run. Interesting times ahead opens up two in the drive. They approach the final 16th. It is interesting times ahead out in front and pouring away from them. Interesting times ahead, a four timer for Jason Da Costa and Tevin Foster. Winning train. Jason Acosta described this as an excellent ride from jockey's leader Tevin Foster pulling clear in deep stretch for the win. A ride by Foster's own admission that was a more patient execution than the one he gave the Colt when he lost the 2000 Guinness. Foster in his first classic triumph, a sixth already for champion trainer Acosta in only his third full season at Cayman Spark. Bred and owned by the trainer's mom, Liz Da Costa, the 2023 champion two-year-old, by Bold Conquest out of the He's the Real Thing mare, My Friend Lucy, delivers his fifth win in seven lifetime starts for groom Vaughn Taylor and is looking good now for the 12 furlong derby up next in early August. Pretty confident, you know, because I know, I know my heart well and I know what he can do. So I'm pretty confident. I think he'll stay the 12 furlongs. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be an easy race. Because the other two horses were right behind him, so uh, it's go it's going to be tough. So you know we'll we'll just prepare him and see what happens. With the Guinness winners, Run Julie Run and California Crown beaten, there'll be no Triple Crown winner this year. Interest in times ahead as the five to two second favorite scores by three and a half lengths, completing four wins on the afternoon for Jockey Foster and back to back St. Leisure victories for Trainer Da Costa, following his score with Talita last year. Crown Chaser closed steadily for second at 15 to 1 odds, edging the favorite Run Julie Run. 2 minutes 09.21, the winning time for 10 furlongs. Da Costa's successful Sunday was further enhanced by three other winners on the card. Among them, the co feature Clovis Metcalf Trophy, honoring the Jamaica Racing Commission chairman and champion breeder, 
the speedy Mamma Mia, the Phillies, Guineas, and Oaks winner last year in a gate to wire run for a surprise win at 11 to 1 odds. They're all looking at the back end of the fleet footed Mamma Mia. They have a furlong to catch her. It's Mamma Mia by some three or four lengths. Inside the final 16, Shavon Townsend and Mamma Mia looks to have slipped the field. It is Shavon Townsend and Mamma Mia. Fun Condon running on late. Mamma Mia beats stablemate Fun Condon. The 31 year old claiming apprentice, Shavon Townsend, with a fine ride executing the race plan perfectly aboard the four year old filly. Get a good break. Go in front, regulate their pace from there, and don't let anyone come near. Mamma Mia gets only her second win in nine starts since her Oaks Tramp last year, August, landing the open allowance Clovis Metcalf by a length and three quarters in an 11 to 1 upset over the favorite Fun Can Dunn in a Da Costa 1 2 finish, 130.94 the winning time for seven and a half furlongs. Now to that Safi Joseph Jr. story, a weekend of a dozen wins for the Barbadian trainer, including three stakes victories while achieving 100 stakes wins in North America. Dominant at Gulfstream Park, where he's won the last nine consecutive seasonal trainer's titles, Safi's biggest victory this weekend came almost a thousand miles north of his Florida base in Delaware, where he started his four-year-old filly, Honor to Lady, in Sunday's $500,000 Delaware Handicap Stakes, and with Jose Ortiz aboard in the yellow cap, she's rounding rivals here to grab the lead coming off the final bend. Malibu Beauty continues to chase in second. Honor D. Lady is raising the stakes in third. Saddle Up Jesse is now starting to uncoil. Queen of Missoula stays at the rail. Red Cap of Morning Matcha. And Wet Paint has been last throughout and needs to sprout wings. Homeward bound now in the 87th. Del Cap and Honor D. Lady cuts that corner sweetly and leads by two. Saddle Up Jesse has all of her chips in the pot in that second place position. And Wet Paint has Closing in two, there's 150 yards to go, and Honor D. Lady, she's simply not catchable today. Honor D. Lady has just conquered the Delaware handicap. A seventh graded stakes win among 17 stakes victories on the year. This for Safi Joseph Jr. Honor D. Lady as a two to one second favorite, winning Sunday's half million dollar Delaware stakes by two and a half lengths, clocking 159.86 for the nine and a half furlong trip. A record tying Delaware Stakes win this for Jockey Ortiz, joining the legend Angel Cordero Jr. with four wins in the event. A day earlier, Safi had attained the 100 mark in Stakes wins in North America with a surprise score in the Smile Sprint Stakes. Drayden Van Dyke aboard the great six year old gelding Comedy Town at 11 to 1 odds here, surging through to take command in the home stretch. Comedy Town has hit the front as they come past the eighth pole. Then it's Run Classic with Sibelius and Swerving at the inside. Octane didn't fire his best today. It's Comedy Town with a 16th to go. Run Classic runs at him, then Sibelius, but it's Comedy Town in front. What a run by Comedy Town, winning by a length and a quarter for Savage Joseph's milestone 100 stakes win in North America since arriving in Florida from Barbados in 2011. Comedy Town at 11 to 1 wins Saturday's Smile Sprint Stakes by a length and a quarter, clocking 110.03 for the six furlong sprint. Still at Gulfstream Park, this time Sunday afternoon, less than half an hour after his big Delaware Stakes win we looked at a few minutes ago, Safi in winner's row in another stakes triumph with his four to five favorite stat in the Soldier's Dancer Stakes on turf with Edgar Zas wearing the blue silks in the two path. Quarter of a mile left to go in the finale, and Stat and Edgard Zayas shove a nose on top. The man up front is at the inside. Bluebird's over, swings wide for the stretch drive, then eyes on the king in Novo Soul. They come past the eighth pole. Stat hits the lead. The man up front, Novo Soul, and Bluebird's over. Try to go get Stat, who's got a three length cushion. It's Stat, it's Edgard Zayas, it's Safi Joseph Jr.'s world. We just live in it. The five-year-old Gelding Stat wins the Soldiers' Stancer Stakes as the four to five favorites, clocking 135.93 for the eight furlong turf trip for Safi Joseph Jr. One of four wins for him on the afternoon, which followed a Saturday four-timer and three wins on Friday on a bumper weekend for the Bayesian 37-year-old. By the way, Safi Joseph was not the only Caribbean man with stake success at Gulfstream Park over the weekend. The Jamaican trainer, Rowan Crichton, enjoyed some of the limelight with a win in Friday's Caribac Stakes. Safi Joseph's catalytic was actually the favorite here in the seven furlong run, but jockey Emisael Jaramillo 
in the yellow silks got the early run aboard Crichton's Real Macho off the final bend and made good use of it. As they come to the top of the stretch, Entendre cuts the corner. Real Macho just grabbed the lead right at the top of the stretch. Entendre down at the inside. Here's Catalytic emerging out of the pack with El Principito. Furlong left to go. Real Macho in front. Catalytic tries to gather him. Real Macho with a length lead. Catalytic on the outside. Not by yet. Real Macho or Catalytic down to the wire. It's tight. For trainer Rowan Crichton, Real Macho edges his first ever stakes win by a head over Sapi's 4-5 favorite, the Kentucky Derby. 19th place finisher Catalytic. Crichton had three weekend wins at Gulfstream Park. 123.37 Real Macho's winning time for the seven furlong carry back stakes. Putting the lid on this week's presentation now with British Racing, the 127th running of the Coral Eclipse Stakes at Sandown Park. We sort of knew the Epsom Derby winner City of Troy would win this, but in the dark blue silks here with Ryan Moore aboard, the Colt had to work really hard as he begins to take control in the £750,000 event. City of Troy continue to be shaken up. Ghostwriter lays down the challenge on the inside. Now, City of Troy is asked to knuckle down. Hangs to the right, but has the lead from Ghostwriter. Al Ripper from the back of the field is making ground. City of Troy is having to dig in. Al Ripper on the near side, the far side. Ghostwriter, City of Troy making very hard work of it. On either side of the challengers, City of Troy is going to do enough and rather wins the Eclipse. Eight Carl Eclipse wins now for trainer Aidan O'Brien, his first Derby winner though to go on to win the Carl Eclipse. City of Troy gives jockey Ryan Moore his third win in the event in four years. City of Troy wins the Carl Eclipse by length. The 2023 champion two-year-old clocking 209.80 for 10 furlongs. His connections thinking of a possible trip to the Breeders' Cup Classic on dirt early November at Del Mar in California, USA. Our usual weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now. Before we go in the past week, since our last show, I've counted 92 victories. Among them, Pravin Badri with four wins, including a stakes win at Assiniboia Downs, where fellow TNT jock Ronald Ali had a Wednesday night double, including a stakes win. The veteran Jamaican jockey Trevor Simpson had four wins at Grand Prairie, including a stakes victory. There were three wins at Thistledown for the Jamaican trainer Ricardo Bailey, while Barbadian jockeys Rashawn Latchman and Enrico Prescott both had three wins, Latchman at Charlestown and Prescott at Century Mile. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.